Hey folks, I know many of you have recently discovered the Ovation Prime and as you watch it build here over the last few hours, I've gotten a few messages asking if this is the coronal hole stream striking. Well, it's actually one or more little coronal mass ejections from a few days ago, just ahead of the coronal hole stream, and two more CMEs, but let's start at the beginning. Look to the cursor, the first eruption is a filament here, and then immediately look south to the bright active region, juice up. Then finally, the active region has a minor eruption up here, all before the coronal hole faces Earth. Everything going to the left here could be coming at Earth here on stereo A. Clearly a couple potential culprits here. You can see uh, all the things quiet here at first, mid-afternoon, and then that CME wave didn't convince you. You just look at how jumbled it gets afterward. The red is a magnetic reconnection. The solar wind speed and density, the yellow and the orange, show that rise. Up top, you can see the BZ tip south. Goes magnetometer taking a dive. The electron flux followed suit. And there's a lot going on recently. PC1 pulsation and some serious baseline resonance. As of a little after 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, nerdy me is headed to bed soon. The KP index is 4. We may have a geomagnetic storm tonight, but if not, there probably isn't long to wait. As discussed this morning, there are two more CMEs on the way. Here's number 1 and number 2. Set to hit back-to-back -back along with the coronal hole stream from this skinny giant. NOAA has labeled 11476 Beta Gamma Delta. Two days late in our opinion, but... Still, we probably haven't seen all she has to give. Magnetic Storm Watch is on, folks. Be safe.